clearly label. Okay. Tick marks, hatch marks. Okay. That's, that's all the things that work. All right, now you have it twice. So definitely you need to use it as a checklist. All right, so now, now we're going to do a demo on um, using the Ames lettering guide. Now, this is a tool, just like everything else that you've got in this class. And you can use it when you want to use it. Um, I use it on a big drawing like this. I would typically use it here. But I certainly wouldn't use it on lettering a whole big sheet. I'd use it in little small places. So, have most of you tried using that thing? Yes? No. Just for the Oh, you haven't tried using it for the creating the lines? You oh, you did? For the lines. Oh, good for you. Okay. And you used it with your uh, leaded pencil? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, it's not a very exciting demo, but let me... Uh, and when you use the ink and you use your leaded pencil, it should the lines be light enough where you don't see them when you make copies and you just have the dark print on it or you, you know, want the lines to show? It doesn't matter if the lines show or not. It's, okay. well, you know, it's sort of your eyes, you, if you need it or don't need it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm missing my tape here. You know, I'm saying some diagrams such as this. Is there a normal size letter or standard size letter in one quarter, one eighth, whatever it goes on these? A lot of a lot of your lettering on notes will be eight inch. Um, and then it just gets bigger and bigger. The more important the label, the larger the label should be. So pretty soon it gets to the point where you don't want to do it by hand. So anything that's in a title block, um, like like some of these. Some of these this lettering, you can actually just you know do it on the computer, put it, put it underneath your, your um, tracing paper and just trace over it. You know, like the client's name and things like that. You always got some drawings like things better. But the writing doesn't have to be the same size on the di on the diagram, right? one eighth, one quarter, whatever the case no. is, depending on what it no. is. But let's say you're doing your list of plants. They would all be the same size. Right. And, you know, sometimes it's easier, rather than measuring things all the time, just make a little scale for yourself on the scrappy piece of paper that you're using to put under your hand or whatever, and know that all your lines for plants are this big, and all your lines for titles are this big, just so that there's some consistency to what you're doing on the drawing. 